My name is Pranav Nangaukar. I work for Computer Center Teramac or Computer Center Canada Inc. And I am reviewing Cisco Identity Services Engine. So in, in my organization or more because I'm into professional services in my client's location, I support the client to make sure the product is architected well enough to scale to their requirements and give, give them the best results out of the architecture. Also supporting the operations team in a way to have efficient operations and make sure that the end user issues are resolved efficiently enough. The most beneficial thing that I love about, like the, there are ton of things, tons of things that I love about ICE and that does well. But the most fascinating that I feel about is its integration with DNA Center or Catalyst Center uh, using TX Grid as the protocol, wherein ICE acts as a policy server for the entire campus, um, hand in hand with Catalyst Center to make sure that the policy policy follows the user and also in the background, hand in hand with DNA Center or Catalyst Center, make sure micro segmentation is implemented so that east west traffic is blocked and takes care of the campus. I would say definitely product needs to be improved in a way more from a troubleshooting aspect. Some of the flows like Guest flow specifically is one of the emphases that I would focus on uh, for improving this product because the troubleshooting aspect when it comes to complex guest flows um, is one of the things that needs to be focused on. I have made sure that the feedback button that is available on ICE, I have also provided my feedback there and there is a make a wish button as well. So my recommendations and feedback, I have made sure to post it on that as well. Another uh, area where I would see more improvement can be done is focusing on the integration part and opening it up as much as Cisco can with other platforms because Cisco integrations are definitely decent and have helped my customers and other customers to excel. But when we open it up for other platforms or generic third-party platforms, that can actually make sure that we achieve much more efficient results what ICE is achieving today. Nine out of ten. I would say from a best suited perspective where any organization that has endpoints Definitely, I, I would say knowing that they have a requirement, knowing that they have infrastructure specific to Cisco or even any third party when it comes to be having a network access control or a AAA server, I think even today based on the Gartner reports as well, ICE is the preferred option and I would definitely recommend ICE over any other AAA servers. Um, when it comes to not well suited or wherever I would not recommend using ICE is um, well I haven't come across any such scenario where I would not recommend ICE or I would recommend any other product I think all the use cases or the the task that the way ICE is designed to cater to multiple use cases I think those are defini definitely valid use cases I haven't seen much value if, like if, if I have to answer this question, something known as Threatcentric NAC, I personally haven't seen much value in deploying ICE in that environment. So that is one of the areas I would not recommend or just because I haven't tested it, I would not recommend ICE yet. Definitely say I would say security actually um, possesses a vital role in achieving because the way technology is moving faster, um, be it with AI, be it with cloud or any next generation solutions, security is one of the aspects that all the solutions are trying to build it. And 
security is something which definitely needs to be implemented but it has to be by design and by principles rather than implementing it just as a solution so that's the way security plays i think to like vital role in no matter what technology it is it is it is a mandate be it coding be it app dynamics be it data center be it campus as the van i think security yeah has a vital role in itself i would say from a perspective of user management or managing day to day operations using cisco products is pretty easy as compared to its competitors or other vendors i mean i personally feel it that way which is the reason i have uh, preferred getting certified or learning more into cisco products and that is the reason i've chosen chosen this path and i'm pretty sure that is one of the many reasons that why my customers are going with cisco products and the amount of resiliency scalability is definitely one of the important aspect flexibility integrations with other third party applications and definitely cisco to cisco integration that's that's one of the fascinating things uh, my customers feel about cisco and i feel the same like i mentioned i'm more into cisco products so i definitely use cisco catalyst center cisco aci cisco wireless specifically with catalyst center the fabric enabled wireless or the sda side of catalyst center uh cisco spaces cisco thousand eyes um these are one of the these are couple of the many cisco products that i've used but other than these i have also used aruba wireless arubas cppm or clear pass as they say and uh, that's it definitely it has had a positive impact on the entire business objective in achieving what our customers are willing to do and the way we have achieved that has definitely given out quantitative numbers as well as qualitative results i would say um customers are ha- more than happy to keep using the same cisco products definitely with innovation that cisco provides with either be it upgrades or integrating it with other cross platform products within cisco as well as other third party platforms definitely when it comes to pricing um i'm not the one who influences that decision it is something that my peers and my seniors uh decide on but based on the available budget of my customers for a specific technology again it depends on technology to technology what level of budget is available but i think definitely cisco does provide the best of its value and it, it the products are best in class when it comes to pricing definitely i am happy with it and that's the reason i am currently working on architecting implementing and in some cases i do go to a extent that i also help operations team manage the product on a day to day operations basis i'm not much into sales and marketing like i mentioned in my introduction i'm more into professional services but at some point of time i do look at opportunity of having technical marketing into my pocket because i am fascinated with the way technical marketing works specifically with cisco products and the value that they offer it's well suited to propose it from a market marketing perspective Ninety percent of the times it has went well, but there have been ten percent uh, times that things did not go well and as planned, where we had to run into hiccups. But again, because the product comes with support, technical assistance center or Cisco Tech has been definitely fruitful and helpful in making sure that we are able to resolve our roadblocks and proceed ahead. Also, Cisco's customer experience or CX teams we have. I specifically have worked a lot with CX teams to make sure that client achieves the success. Uh me as a Cisco partner working with for a Cisco partner and Cisco together have delivered 
pretty good outcomes for our customers. Definitely, yes. Microsoft, Apple is one of the biggest ecosystem I would say that I use besides Cisco. Cisco more being on the professional side and Apple products more on the personal side. Definitely if I were to again give it on a scale of 1 to 5 I would give a recommendation of full 5 because Again, it depends on the requirement. If the requirement well fits into what Cisco product offers, definitely. And knowing that, be it networking, security, or cross-platform, Cisco does have a product to uh, cater the needs. So definitely, I would recommend Cisco products.